Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Um, I recorded this a while ago, so forgive me because I may not exactly remember everything that's covered in here, but I had this color palette in my head, and um, I saw um, like a deep purple and like a mango yellow, maybe with some gold. So uh, what I did is I took blue violet from Amsterdam, and I put a little bit of regular similar paint in Mango Mamba from Color Art only because I didn't want the yellow to be swallowed by the darker colors. And um, that is Deep Violet from Liquitex, I believe. And so uh, there's some Interference Gold from Color Art. And you can use Mandy1120 as a promo code for Color Art to get 20% off of anything on the site. Some really exciting things coming soon in time for Christmas. So super excited about that. And I'm sort of just layering this like a messy bloom. I'm going to use a black cell activator uh, with Carbon Black by Golden. All my ratios are in the description box. If you haven't taken Shelly's class, I highly recommend taking it. Uh, there's a 15% off promo code in the description box for you and um, it's just a really great time to take it. I personally learned the technique before I took the course and I feel like I have still learned quite a bit by taking the course um, obviously from Shelly herself which she's very talented but also from other people who've taken the course and they have shared what's worked for them and their own experiences. And, you know, Shelly's in Australia and I'm in the United States. And so I learn a lot from people who buy their products and use um, products in the United States too. So that's something to consider. Um, I obviously have a lot of paint on, on the canvas or on the tile here. Now, when you uh, apply your cell activator, one thing to consider is that you want to spread it out gently. So I'm using the world's smallest blower here. The link's in the description box. But you wanna glide it across your paint. You see how we're doing that? You want to avoid going down into your paint. So most people will blow it gently in the middle to spread it out a little bit. And then glide it across the paint because um, the cell activator is obviously part of why you get the cells. Sorry about my dog drinking water. But also the paint underneath it causes the cells to be very reactive. So that's part of what makes it work so well is the, the mix that you have underneath it is very cell reactive. So a lot of people will ask questions like, okay, how do I get cells in my regular acrylic pores? And you can with a mixture of Floetrol and water, especially Australian Floetrol, but understand that it's your cells are also responding to the mixture underneath. So uh, there's varnish and all kinds of stuff in that paint mixture that responds very well to your cell activator. So part of the magic of the Bloom recipe is that um, those cells respond well to the mixture overall. Not to say that they won't respond to regular acrylic pouring, um, but that's what's so wonderful about this technique. So um, I really like the way the cells stretched out in this one. There is one poster in here that I just really didn't love the way it turned out. I didn't hate it though. I love the colors and I love the shimmer. And I was on the fence about whether or not to use it for paint skins. And then one day I had too much resin and I just resined it. So I was like, whatever, it's in there now, you know. But um, it wasn't my favorite. And I'm trying to remember which one it was. I love the way the, the cells and the, the lacing turned out on this one. But it actually might have been that one. One of them was a lot darker um, where I really wanted the purple to surround those that yellow color, um, it kind of took over. And some of it was, you know, maybe I just didn't put enough of the yellow. 
I love that mango mamba color. It's a beautiful color. Of course, I say that about all color art colors. I have an idea in my head. Um, I'm actually about to knock out a bunch of coasters hopefully today because I have um, we have a market day coming up soon. And uh, I was telling my husband today that, you know, we're really running out of time to be prepared for that. And coasters and small things tend to do well at those markets. Um, paintings are kind of hit or miss, so you don't want to go with only paintings because, you know, you might sell one or two. It's not going to pay for all of the expenses. But coasters sell, um, typically. I'm doing some earrings and pendants and stuff with paint skins. Those tend to sell. Magnets are an ironically big hit. Uh, last time I did a magnet giveaway for YouTube subscriptions. And that was kind of cool because people got a free magnet and all the kids love them. It's amazing. So I'm going to try to knock out some coasters. Um, I had this brilliant idea because pastels are pretty in right now. And one thing I love about color art is you can use interference colors and you can use uh, the pigments more or less by themselves and create a beautiful interference look. Um, so I was going to make a bunch of like opaly looking, pastel looking coasters with a darker cell activator. So that's on my mind for today. But I also had this idea to mix a beautiful like Naples yellow with uh, Payne's gray from Color Art, which is a very navy bluish gray. It's a beautiful color. And so, I, you know, let's hope that that turns out really well. In my head, it's beautiful. So with maybe like a Prussian blue cell activator and some pixie dust by Color Art, maybe some interference colors in the mix. Um, but that's kind of what I have in my head. So you guys may see quite a few like test colors on, <laughs> on tiles in the coming videos. I don't know that I'll make you sit through all four of them because sometimes that seems a little redundant, but, um, but yeah, it's a fun way to test colors out and they're great Christmas gifts. Sorry if you can hear me mixing paint. I'm mixing paint while, while we talk. Um, but yeah, I, I get these colors in my head and um, usually when I'm supposed to be going to sleep or supposed to be working on something else and um, one of the best ways to try them out is to do them on like a little tile or something the other day I tried some colors and I didn't separate them well enough because um, what I had in my head was like a teal zircon color with like a mango mamba and maybe like an autumn brown and a warm purple and I thought well maybe I'll try this modified bloom that Cindy always does it's so pretty well I need to watch Cindy's video again it was a mess so it's now going to be a paint skin used for jewelry or whatever but that's the fun thing is I tried it on a tile I didn't like it didn't have to scrape a canvas didn't ruin a board so all I, all I lost was paint and I'll recover some of that. So no hurt feelings really, you know? So that's the fun part about this technique is you can, you can use your paint skins. You don't have to completely have a, a loss every time something doesn't work out. But I've been wanting to do some like paintings and some swipes and some, some fun experiments, but I really need to focus on doing some of the small stuff and getting it done because literally two weeks from yesterday is when we're doing it and it doesn't leave a lot of time for sanding and resining and you know all of that all that jazz so unfortunately what you'll probably see the most in the next few weeks is that sort of thing so sorry in advance y'all um, I have the link to everything I can think of in this video in the description box. So if I used a 
like a regular tube paint, I usually go in and edit that and add those in the description. So if you're like, hey, I don't know what that color is, you can find it. And I have the link to the spinner that I use. I have um, the coupon code for Shelly's class. I have the coupon code for color art. I have the uh, world's smallest blower in there, which works great on tiles, by the way. If you use it, take the little black thing off because that diminishes your airflow like a lot. Um, my husband's drilling something outside. But see, I like the way those colors look together. And the paint skins on your spinner, let them dry and peel them off and make jewelry or something, magnets or something out of them. I mean, I hate to waste things personally. I also hate dropping things on the floor, which is what I just did. Um, I hate to waste the paint. And so it really is a great way to uh, not waste your paint. Plus you can give them away as gifts, sell them, whatever. Give them away to your customers who buy something as a thanks for being our customer. Kind of thing. It's just a, a great way to repurpose them. Um, and sometimes the skins <laughs> outside are prettier than the experiment on the inside. At least that's the case for me sometimes. So. Uh, I hope you guys like this color combo. These have since been resined and are available for purchase. Um. I don't have the coasters on our Etsy shop yet. And I probably won't add the coasters until after this upcoming show. Um, but if you are interested in them, shoot me an email. Um, our email is in the description box. And my husband or I will respond. I just don't want to add them and then have someone buy them simultaneously. That would be embarrassing if somebody bought them and also bought them on Etsy. So I don't want to take that risk. That would be very uh, dissatisfying for a customer. So, so yeah, I have this really cool Naples yellow and uh, Payne's gray idea. So hopefully that'll turn out pretty like it turns out in my head. In my head, it would look beautiful together. I have a couple videos I haven't edited yet coming up. I did some geode coasters and those turned out pretty. And uh, so yeah, so some things coming your way. It's been kind of a busy week, so I'm a little behind the eight ball. Usually I release a couple of videos a week, so sorry about that. Um, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, my husband came in to get something. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. We are getting pretty close to hitting a thousand, um, probably in the next week or two. And, uh, we hope to do a giveaway. So that should be good fun. Our social media links are below. If you don't follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all those things. And then the link to our Etsy store is also there. So if you're interested in following us on Etsy for when I actually do update the Etsy shop, feel free. I, I will do better at that. Um, but yeah, we'd love to hear your feedback about what you think about these colors. Um, what you'd like to see in the future. Feel free to throw ideas my way. I'd like to see some coasters in these colors. I uh, have to do a whole bunch in the near future. So I would love to hear your feedback about what you'd like to see. I think that might actually be great color inspiration for me. Because sometimes I have so many things I want to try that I get like... Um, almost overwhelmed with options and then I maybe don't pick one so I would love to hear your ideas um, so yeah like I said this is kind of an unusually long video for just doing uh, tiles um, I do finish and I'll try to link the um, link this below as well um, when I finish these with resin, um, after I sand off any drips or whatever on the bottom, I use cork, self-adhesive cork backs. And um, 
The tiles I use are the ones from Lowe's because they don't have that little weird knob on the side. Um, so I, um, I really like those. So I found the cork backs on Amazon and they're a little bit smaller than four inches because these are like right under four inches wide or square or whatever. So um, for those of you who are always curious about, you know, how everyone finishes their, their tiles, um, they look really nice and clean and neat. Also keeps them from clanking against each other. Um, and I have a bunch of the tiles from Home Depot still from when I started paint pouring last year. So I'm going to do some traditional like flip cup pours, ring pours or whatever on those. So we'll have a lot to post in the near future. I'm going to try to record as much of it as I can, especially because I think those are beneficial for beginners who are still learning. Um, and as a beginner, I practiced on tiles all the time. I will say that when you blow out your cell activator, blowing it out while spinning it gently makes it so much easier to maneuver. So much easier. Um, and that little smallest, world's smallest blower is pretty handy for that. I um, had, <laughs> I was practicing one day and I didn't have my spinner out and I didn't want to get all the stuff out. You know, sometimes you just want to paint. You don't want to bring all the toys out. And um, I used that little blower, but I had the thing on a K cup instead of on the spinner. And I was like, oh, wow, when I can't move this around the way I want to, it doesn't quite work as well. But I made it work. So, so hopefully, hopefully all these colors in my head are going to work out and be able to share some fun color ideas with you guys. I also am trying to set up in um, my stepdaughter's room for when she's not here um, and just keep my spinner out. So if I have a few minutes and I just want to you know, knock out some tiles while I've got this set up in here. It won't be as cumbersome as having to uh, move things around and also keeps me from keeping things out all the time in the kitchen, which is, you know, better for everyone who lives here, you know. So that's uh, my thought process there. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but that's the idea. Anyway, everyone, thank you so much for watching today. I would love it if you would share your feedback with me. Let me know what you think of the colors, what you think of the how they turned out, what you'd like to see in the future. Um, again, please subscribe if you like what you see and you'd like to see more of it. We certainly do more than just blooms. Um, we do resin, we do tumblers, we do a lot of different things. And, of course, traditional acrylic pouring. Um, but we'd love to have you join us. And um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything when we have new videos come out. We are hoping to do a giveaway soon, like I mentioned. So we would love for you to follow along and be part of that. And um, share in our journey with us. So... Thank you again for your continued support. I'm really blessed to be part of such a great art community. And it's always nice to see, you know, artists support one another. And I realize not everybody who watches our channel is maybe an artist or someone who paints, but we appreciate it.